Hey, welcome back to the Fitzfire channel. So it's been a while since we've done a build video, and so we're going to be making a mini champ here. We'll be using these uh, precious Alux scales. So these are aluminum, really thin scales here. And since it does not have a, um, a slot here for the tweezers, I've made a little tweezer holder from G10. So we'll be adding this to the, the tool set. So basically you open this up and pull the tweezers out. And so we'll see how that turns out. We'll get close towards the end. All right, so we'll be taking that apart using those scales. And of course, this is gonna be the base uh, for our build we'll using this mini champ. And also from this Victorinox caddy, we'll be taking the, uh, the divot repair tool and we'll be adding a scalpel from Nightcore. So this is their NTK05. We're taking that apart, modifying that to fit into the, the 58 millimeter mini champ. And also be taking apart this uh, Winger pocket tool chest. We'll be taking two tools out of here, the mini screwdriver, mini flathead screwdriver, and the awl. And so let's go ahead and we'll begin a uh, disassembly of all these tools. All right, so you can see all the tools after I've disassembled them. And so I've laid all the parts together so you can see which parts from which tool. And now, of course, I'm not gonna be using all of these uh, for the one knife. We'll be using the entire mini champ. Of course, we'll be using the scalpel, uh, the, um, the divot repair tool here from the caddy. And these two tools from the winger and from the precious Alox, we'll be just using the scales. And so what I'm gonna do next is just go ahead and get rid of all the excess tools and we'll be back with basically just the tools remaining for our build. And then from there, we'll start uh, modifying them. All right, so this is gonna be our, our final setup here for the tools. Now I may end up swapping around positions uh, depending on basically the location of the nail next to make sure that all the tools are accessible. But basically this is gonna be the tool set. And so what we're gonna do next is we need to modify the scalpel. We need to modify the, uh, the mini flat screwdriver. The awl needs to be modified. Uh, we're going to be modifying this, making that a chisel. And we're modifying this, making that a saw. And so basically these five tools, we're going to, have to modify. And then after that, we're going to be able to begin assembly.
All right, so here's after finishing up all of the modifications to these tools. So we'll go ahead, we can put them back into the tool set. See the chisel here, sharpen that a bit more. Also off camera, I kind of polished up these aluminum liners just a bit, just kind of make the edges look a bit nicer than the original. All right, we have two winger tools. And the scalpel. All right, so the next step we need to do is I have these uh, brass pins that I've cut. And so I need to pin the tips, or the tops, should I say. And so we're gonna use uh, this scale. And basically we'll, we'll uh, do some pinning work on this. And then we come back in, we can actually start uh, assembling. Uh, and also we're going to modify this uh, liner so that it doesn't get in the way of our scalpel. So we're gonna do that too. All right, so I have all the tools and everything ready for assembly. And uh, right before I got everything ready, the guy who ordered this, he requested a couple extra tools. So we're gonna be adding this tool right here. And now this is from a 74 millimeter executive. And so basically kind of like the orange peeler. So that's been modified similar to the, uh, the winger tools. All right, then also we've added the uh, flat head combo tool. Also identical almost to the uh, the Phillips combo tool, except for it has the flathead. And we also added a serrated original blade. All right, so that's to be adding one extra layer per se. Not one layer, but one extra segment, shall I say. All right, so we'll go ahead, we'll begin assembly. All right, so this here.
All right, so that's everything. And so all we've left now to do is just take us outside. I'm gonna pin this shut, and then we'll come back and kind of check out the tool set, see if it opens and closes and snaps, and finish up from there. All right, so I've already cut these off. I did that off camera because I need to be nice up and close. And so next we're gonna do, I'm just gonna use some masking tape. This will protect the A-lock scales while we are painting this. A little sandwich here in the masking tape. All right, so that should be enough. So what we'll do next is to go and get through, show you all the tools, uh, the action of them, and uh, how they snap. All right, so our main blade. All right, then the orange peeler from the 58 millimeter. And that is the file. We have the emergency blade. All right, combination tool with the Phillips. Then we have the divot repair tool. All right, combination tool with the flathead. Yeah, the scissors. All right, this side we have the night horse scalpel. And behind that we have the cuticle pusher that we've modified to be a chisel. All right, and the 74 millimeter orange peeler. And behind that we have our tweezers. All right, so that slides right in there. All right, then we have the serrated blade. And the saw. And the winger awl. And the winger mini uh, flathead screwdriver. All right, so that is all of the all the tools. So let me know what you think about this build, about the size of that. Uh, if you like that size, like having that many tools in it. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.